What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we're going to be drawing Yuji from Jujutsu Kaisen with his Divergent Fist. So, let's see. Yeah, so he's basically throwing a punch and it's got sort of black, just like a black circle around it. You can do it as thick or as thin as you want, but we'll um, get going. I'm on a landscape orientation page. Use a pencil, don't mind my fingers there, I got like Tipex on it, or I think it's called Whiteout in the States. Uh, it's not like a weird skin condition or anything. <laughs> uh, landscape orientation page, I get distracted easily. Use a pencil and hit pause if I go too fast. So, center point of my page is approximately here. His eyes are a bit lower. He's kind of hunkered down, right? Center point's here, I'm just gonna come down Cross to the right hand side a little bit. And we'll start with his eye. So we go up, diagonal, and then across. Like so. So you kind of thicken this up a little bit. They're not like super thick eyelid lines in Jujutsu Kaisen. They're kind of just thinnish. Kind of like that. And then, so the back eyelid, just like a line, just there, the back eyelid, like as if that's a thing. But like in anime it is, but it's like, you know, just the line at the back of the eye, because the eyes are so big. And the bottom of that comes across here. And then his iris, just like a circle in the middle, doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Like so, and a pupil. He's got some like, stress lines around his eye, like so. And his eyebrow, so he's frowning real heavy, so it like comes up, goes across the top of his eyelid, like ticks up like that. And you just gotta add like a section that you can color in. And it gets kind of thinner as we go back, like so. Kind of an eyelid line then, just curves across there. And we'll go over and do the other eye. So we're not, it's not standard proportion, right? So his eyes are huge. So um, like his hat, it's probably like half an eye, probably like tear duct to say just past his pupil there will fit in between. So like half his eye width, see that will, will fit in between his eye because his eyes are like twice as big as they should be. But you know, anime does that sometimes. So, so we go diagonal up, so half an eye width in between, and then we go up like so. And then again, you can kind of slightly thicken this up. Like so. And then that back eyelid line is there. And then the bottom. Okay, it's just a similar sort of situation to the other one. And then his iris and his pupil, just like a circle here. And a pupil in the middle. And then he's got like a stress line around it there. And his eyebrow. So again, a tick that touches his eyelid and goes up like so. And you just add a section that you can color. And it gets thinner as we go back. Don't worry if they're not exactly the same on both sides. They don't have to be. And then frown lines. So he's like stressed, stressed out, like he's super aggressive. So we got like stress lines here, you know, wrinkled up face, sort of wrinkles on his nose. So like a line here, wrinkle line coming across his nose there, maybe there, and then on the other side as well. So like bumping out, going down there. So we'll come down now and do his nostrils. So just like a nostril here, nostril here. Like 
so and his mouth so he's gritting his teeth so his mouth is like open right so we do like a line across like so you can leave it like that if you want to but we'll open it up and put his teeth in so we curve around here at the back so that line just for his cheek there and then we'll bring it along the bottom bumping around like that so it kind of looks like a bean or something or a footprint maybe yeah. <laughs> and then his teeth so we got like one sharp tooth right there and then we bring a line across leave a bit of a gap and then another sort of bumping area for teeth there and then the bottom teeth just the line along the edge and we'll add a black shadow just in here Bottom lip line, just underneath. Maybe another line there. And then his chin, just down here. So in the way of proportion, right? We're not really in standard human proportion, so, but like in general, I would say top eyelid to nostrils is about the same as nostrils to chin, okay? Nostrils are about halfway between top eyelid and chin, so here to here. About the same as here to here okay and um, just because eyes are bigger and stuff normally like the middle of the eye would be where you go to nostril but it's top eyelid in this one okay just because eyes are big and mouth is open and then I would say nostril to bottom lip line is about the same as bottom lip here like this one bottom of his mouth to nostril about the same as bottom of his mouth to chin so this is halfway between nostril and chin. So that's the kind of proportion you're working for with this. It's kind of thrown out because his eyes are big and the mouth is open. And, but in general, that's what we're going for. So once you get that, then you can try the jaw. Go up to here. Stop about top of his mouth level. Same on that side. So stopping just top teeth under sort of the corners of his eye. That's where we'll change direction. So we'll start to turn, go up the side of his face. Okay. Okay. And while we're here, we'll do those um, Sukuna sort of marks on his cheeks, right? So it comes down this way, and then around, and then we'll go down this way. So there and then we'll just add a section we can color in so well if you want to color in of course you can shade it if you're doing a pencil sketch you know and he's got like scratch marks on his face so just add some like hatching coming down they're done in red in the picture I'm drawn from but you know, you can do them in sort of black ink or pencil. Um, if you don't have colors, not everyone has colors. I forgot a top eyelid line over here though. Uh, okay, ears. So ears come out from the top of his face line just here. Bump down. So, and we'll go up and sort of get them semi in line. Like that. And then curve lines inside, right? So, easiest way, letter J. You could literally leave it like that if you wanted. Not many people would notice. But if you're one of those people that notices, you can add more detail. Like so. I'm one of those people that would notice, by the way. <laughs> um, so, sideburn. 
So we'll go side of his face just here. Like so, and then, so he's like dynamic movement, okay? So that means like a lot of hair flow. It's not normal UG sort of hair. So he's got like crazy hair spikes coming across, all going kind of different directions, right? So just no easy way. Just gotta go for it. So spike here. Another one going in the opposite direction. Down this way. Hairline spike or something there, and then this comes down up like so. And this comes back to there. Hair spike here, up to there. And then out like so. There. And then he's another one sort of flying up this way. Down like that. And so, and then spiking down that way. And then hairspray here. So, right. So there are some spikes coming out the side. I don't. I don't think there should be really, because he's shaved, isn't he, at the side of his head? Eh, whatever. So spikes here, right? And then, so these are black, but I don't think they should be black. I think the animators might have made a little mistake. <laughs> okay, um, and then some more pink ones. It's funny the things you notice, and then some more pink ones that come down here, right? So these are supposed to be pink, and this is colored black in the picture I'm drawing from. But in the anime, I think that's shaved hair. Could be wrong. I don't know. What do I know? Maybe it's just dyed. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> So more hair spikes coming up the side here, and they go like in sort of flowing sort of different directions, right? So going that way, coming up around, another one going here. So you're just this kind of thing. There's one coming up from the center. Another one coming around here. There, up around like so. Down, here, back, back in. Do, 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 there. So, how high up you want to go, right? You know, that top hair spike? So, it's about the same as like eyebrow, say, like eyebrow to forehead top eyelid line, top eyelash line. So here to here, about the same as there to say that where the spikes start, okay? So like this is the same as this as well. So you're you're going up in thirds, so like, see it's like broken up nearly evenly, just to the top of his head. So like chin to nostril, nostril to top eyelid, Top eyelid to forehead, and then forehead to sort of top of his head where the spikes start coming out. So it's broken up into quarters. And then it just makes things a little bit easier when you're, if you're wondering why his head looks so big or something. So more spikes coming this way. Going down. Mm -hmm. 
so. And then there. Right, so generally that's it. So his hair's all messy and stuff. So a bit trickier than normal hair. Pause it there, see if you can replicate that. Right, so moving on. Red scarf around his neck. So it comes down from his ear, ear lobe, down under his chin. Right, so that's like skin inside there. And then the scarf comes out the other side, sort of. Bumping kind of down, kind of comes down around the bottom here, and then it'll go this way, and then it goes in behind his head. So we'll just line it up, sort of which to where, like here, yeah. right? And this kind of flows down. So there's all these fold lines and stuff inside, okay? So like a fold line here, here, like here, this, there, and there, and then. So it comes out from buttons and things. So, another fold right here, goes underneath this chin, another fold there. And then bring it down like so, cross, up, then another one down, cross, like so, and then we go up this way. So these are like four lines. I think my sharpie is starting to waste <laughs> and then buttons here two of them with patterns on them so we'll just add like a curved line that's all i can see really just there and in front of his chest will come down just besides see the button is just there and his arm on this side will go off the page some more sort of four lines for his uniform running down off the page that way and like maybe an armpit line just there and something going down that way so we got a fist right beside his head okay over here so let's see so it kind of, all right, so it comes out here, okay? This is like a sleeve. And then it goes back in behind his head and his elbow, so his elbow is like kind of here. So you can only see his arm like just in behind here. Like going in behind his hair. And so then the sleeve kind of bumps down there, back into there, right? So his wrist then and his red shirt is gonna come out from here. So the red shirt first, I guess. So red shirt comes out like that. And the wrist will come out from there. So boom, boom. So it's a clenched fist, four knuckles and a thumb coming over, okay? So, I guess thumb first. So take your time with hands, they're harder than faces. So, well, I think <laughs> they're definitely as hard as a face. Artists would charge extra for hands. Wrist bone there and thumb comes out there, right? And then we got like a thumbnail So 
so you can adjust some like skin lines and stuff. So then the thumb kind of bumps out around the back here. And then this goes out. Like so. Down, kind of bumping. We're kind of bumping a few times there. And then this comes around for a knuckle. One, two, middle finger knuckle, ring finger knuckle. So we're going down diagonal this way, little finger knuckle, four of them, right? So then the little finger comes out here. We go back up. Next finger, ring finger, like so. Back around to there. Here, and to there. And then next one. Like so. Bumping around, so sort of here. And then we need to see the inside of this finger, right? So kind of comes out from this area of the thumb, bump there, the inside there, and then we go back that way, and then our skin fold kind of here. And then the palm of his hand, just there. Now, so divergent fist, right, has a sort of a, what looks like a black line going around. So we're just going to go. It's different in the anime than the manga. So let's see. Yeah, we'll just go for it. So it's like, it's just like a big black sort of blob. And it's like got thicker parts to it and sort of black spikes and stuff all around so I'm just going to draw a rough sort of one and then we can thicken it up as we want right and as we go up to here it kind of flies off the top so it goes like, it's got this spike. It goes up off the top of my page, All right? And then you just thicken up this black line in various ways, right? So you just, And you could go, you can get really messy with it if you wanted. Like you could add like all these spikes and stuff, you know, and blobs and circles. My sharpie is definitely wasting. I need to change it. Bin. Might be a bit like coming in.
Nice. Bonus. You can keep going with that for ages, but I think I'll leave it there. That's how to draw Yuji from Jujutsu Kaisen's Divergent Fist. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.